In the middle of East Sea, the body of water between Japan and Korea, there is the rocky island Dokdo, 87.4 kilometers southeast from Wulung Island. This tiny and shabby rocky island is the witness of the sad Korean history. Various wild species live in their natural state on the island, and marine resources are hid under the Korean treasure island Dokdo. The USSAT textbook gives the answered Sea of Japan to the question about the name of the sea between Korea and Japan. British news magazine Economist calls Dokdo Takeshima, misinforming the world's opinion leaders that Dokdo is Japanese territory. And the French-German broadcasting station RTTV introduced Dokdo as an island illegally occupied by Korea. The famous Canadian map-making company Geocortex also incorrectly records Dokdo as belonging to Shimane, Japan. Korean Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade estimates that the three-fourths of world maps record Sea of Japan and the place of East Sea. It was since 1929 an International Hydrographic Organization Foundation assembly that the name Sea of Japan has been used prevalently. Japanese government exercised their influence over the IHO to record Sea of Japan on the first edition of The Boundary of Oceans and Seas while they occupied Korea. Hence the adopting Sea of Japan on map as remaining of Japanese imperialism. Afterwards, in the process of editing the third version of Limits of Oceans and Seas in 1953, Korea engaged in a war, could not attend the conference. Thus, the sea was marked as Sea of Japan and took position as the formal title in the international society. Joining the UN in 1991, Korea has steadily presented the East Sea encryption problem to the international society. And the UNCSGN decided that if one name cannot be chosen, both names indicated in 1974. However, the Japanese Ministry of Foreign Affairs has organized an exclusive team for the purpose of promoting Sea of Japan, completely ignoring UN's decision. Against such acts, Korea's cyber diplomatic group, VANK, the government, and the nation has keep sending correction requests to textbook publishers, international organizations, and the world's famous site, such as National Geographic. Through this, many maps adopted the EC. The Japanese claim for the name Sea of Japan shows the Japanese attempts to declare to the international world that Dokdo is indeed Takeshima, the island of Japan in the Sea of Japan. Dokdo was first occupied by the Japanese after the Japanese invasion of Korea. Japan landed in Korea with the excuse of fighting the Russo-Japanese War in 1905. Their original excuse was that they will only pass by. The Japanese went further to force the Korean government in signing the Korea-Japan Protocol. The Japanese also placed the Korean land under requisition and took the survey rights of the Korean government to deal with the nation's financial and diplomatic issues. Japan, during the period of time, assumed a watchtower and a few warships to make Dokdo a Japanese territory to use it as a naval base during the war. Due to the significance of Dokdo, the retrieval of Dokdo not only has an effect of regaining territory, but also has a symbolic effect of correcting the distorted history of Korea by the Japanese. The Japanese still claiming the right for Dokdo 
as those denying the complete independence of Korea and promoting the past imperialistic ideologies to justify the colonial territories gained through aggressive wars. Moreover, Japan is even applauding and justifying its past crimes, including the aggressive warfare and myriad infringements on the human dignity and human rights, such as its 40 years of torture, imprisonment, drafts, and abusing of the comfort woman. Unfortunately, this unjustifiable nostalgia towards its past imperialistic policies and warfare are spreading in Japan. Therefore, Korea is now trying to promote the Korean rights to Dokdo and the international society and confront a revival of Japanese imperialism and distortion of history. The Japanese claim for territorial rights for Dokdo is false. Japan deprived of the Korean government the diplomatic rights through illegal and unjustified country and decided to incorporate Dokdo in Japanese territory in the cabinet meeting. If Dokdo was the territory of Japan, this kind of clause would have been unnecessary. This evidence actually proves that Dokdo is not part of the Japanese territory. Right after the collapse of the Japanese Empire in 1951, the Treaty of San Francisco was signed, which states that Japan acknowledges the independence of Korea and will give up all rights over Korea, including the territorial rights to Jeju Island, Gomun Island, and Ulung Island. However, Japan is claiming its rights over Dokdo due to the fact that Dokdo, located at the Far East, was not explicitly mentioned in the treaty. However, Japan's such claim does not make logical sense. Even though the Marado Island is at the very south of the country, the Jeju Island was mentioned. Therefore, the article of treaty did not include only the island which situated in the boundaries. Also, the Taejongwan command of Japan currently located at the Tokyo National Library of Official Document explicitly shows how Dokdo is a part of Korean territory. This document was officially published in 1877 by the Japanese government, only 30 years before the Japanese colonization of Korea. This official document proved that the Japanese claim of the territorial rights of a Dokdo is a clear fabrication. On the other hand, the Korean government also declared Dokdo as a Korean territory through the 41st Royal Order in 1900. Takeshima, the Japanese name for Dokdo, means bamboo island. But there are no bamboos in Dokdo. Despite all these evidences, Japan is still clinging to the territorial rights to Dokdo because gaining Dokdo can cause Japan to become one of the top three naval powers in the world. As well as give Japan the incredibly valuable marine resources that can be used for more than 30 years, such as hydrate, which has astronomical values as an alternative source of energy. Japan which is still not acknowledging its past atrocity and glorifying its war criminals, should now repeal its fabricated claims for Dokdo. In order to become an ethical nation, and this act of acknowledging the territorial rights of Korea would become the starting point of change. <laughs>